Hello and welcome back everybody. I'm Valerie and this is Angel Warriors. Today I'm going to continue on with the 72 angels that I've been going over and we're up to number 20. Pala Halia. Let's get started. And then at the end I'm going to talk a little bit about homeschooling because this week I'd like to get a uh, live Q&A going on uh, YouTube. So please, at the end of this video, if you're interested, please write below in the comments that, yes, I, I would love to be there. Maybe I'll put out a poll or something. Let's we'll see how many people, what it would work best for. I can uh, do it during the day or I could do it at night. Okay, so that being said... Let's get started. And it is Angel Palahala is the guardian angel for people born between June 27th and July 1st. He has a masculine energy and represents the 5th and 10th degree of Cancer. In the angel hierarchy, he is a throne. He is part of the Serapha of Binha. And his governing angel is, archangel, is Zepikil. His planetary energies are Saturn Mar and Mars. And he represents the element of water. His name means God the Redeemer. He symbolizes one true calling. He provides one of, one with an awareness, the laws which govern the world. This may lead to a spiritual awakening which can then lead people to their callings here on earth. The angel Palaya stone is Malachite, that green one. It's awesome. That's a nice one. And his colors are blue and red. Of the seven virtues, he rules over strength. I have to take these glasses off because I'm going to feel like... <laughs> I gotta put on the other ones. I need new glasses <laughs> soon. Pahalaya brings liberation into your life. He is able to awaken one's kudalani or primal energy. He offers you conviction, bravery, and vitality so that you can easily overcome any challenges. He can bring transcendence of sexuality purity within intimacy fidelity and divine union and it can help you fix the mistakes you've made by losing control of your emotions or have or by having desires which are too great and the angel pala laya is a great source of support when it comes to spirituality and morality and allows you to understand the nature of good and evil. He also helps you to establish the norms in your instinctual behavior. Pala Halaya offers you a harmonious spiritual life and brings you the liberation needed to face your higher self. Nice. And he will help you if you do not believe in the higher power or if you break the divine laws. He will also put you in the right path if you have a tendency to send out or to make material gains and will protect you from religious figures who seek to convert you. Yeah, because there's a lot of false idols out there, guys. Go deep. Listen to your heart. Listen to your gut. If they're putting it on too sweet and it's too good to be true, it usually is. So use your discernment and best judgment because, I mean, hey, I have to admit, I got fooled too, didn't we all? But you got to take your power back and keep it within you 
to stay strong against any of that because that's negativity that's negative infiltrating the light and that's what's going on right now i i i I could just feel it. It, it it's just what i see and i can't unsee it now that there's so many bullshit artists out there so you know what <laughs> better off if i just sit here and talk to myself and talk to the world I, i'm better off because it is i know there's a lot of like-minded people out there and i encourage positivity i encourage wellness and mental wellness and I don't consent to when people are trying to do some trickery or any kind of stuff to benefit themselves because that's not nice that's not right to do because you know what karma karma is a you know what and yeah it will get them back whoever does that to you so just keep in mind just stay strong stay positive and don't let any negativity affect you it's it's not easy hey we're all human we're all living through this this experience i'm having um my own experience that not everybody's gonna understand and that's okay that's all right because it's not for everybody it's for each individual that is going through this and you just got to stay strong that the, we're going through a hardship and this angel will help because he brings you bravery and morale and physical strength and persistence and thanks to these qualities you'll be able to become overcome difficult challenges without allowing yourself to be discouraged so don't hesitate to ask for his help and support i thank you pa halaya thank you thank you angel thank you to all my angels it's about empathy and love respect got to show each other that stay on the same page once we all stay on the same consciousness we are ascending together because that that's what it's all about it's about love and understanding like we are one i feel oh and it's even on my shirt focused balanced and brave scorpio so now how about we do, I uh, haven't done them in a while, starseed deck. I know there's a lot of starseeds out there. And I looked on my, my podcast. Thank you so much. I can't believe it that I'm reaching all these countries. This is wonderful. We are all one. It doesn't matter what language you speak. If you speak from your heart, I'm listening. And I'm glad that you're listening, too, because that makes my heart happy. It really does. That's awesome. I hope you're having a good day. Today is Monday, uh, June 27th, and we're getting some rain right now. That's why it's a little mushy today. It's like 90 degrees yesterday. Heat wave. Stay cool wherever you are. If you're having your summer now, and maybe you're having a winter, <laughs> if you're on the other side of the, the world, and reach out. Whoever wants to talk about like-minded stuff and keeping it positive, I'd love to have you on as a guest, so please let me know. Leave me a message. Okay, let's do some star seeds cards. Nice. Always have a slim tight on hand. Okay. So fall into my arms. Surrender holding the opposites, extremes of life. 
Beautiful. Look how beautiful that cavern looks. Beautiful. Let's see. And then I'll pull from one of my other decks that I have here. The Great Mother ushered you in when you took your first breath. And she'll be there when you draw your last. My mom's in heaven. I lost my mom when I was 12. She knows how challenging life can be. That being human can be lonely and confusing. That the polarity and the separation can be excruciating. When your soul remembers the oneness of source. But at the same time, it could be incredibly glorious and sweet. So often we see things as either good or bad. When things go well, we make it mean that, <clears throat> excuse me, we're being rewarded. And when things are bad, then perhaps we've done something wrong. However, we're all here to expand and grow. And it's through the extremes of life that we do exactly that. You're being invited to welcome the highs and the lows of the human experience. To let them in initiate you more fully into life. The agony and the ecstasy, the beauty and the bitterness. This life is but a single breath in the inextinguishable existence of your experience as a soul. The Great Mother wants you to Hand over your loneliness, worries, hurt, and sorrow, fears, burdens, and doubts, to lay them on her altar, to fall fully into her arms, to remember that while these extreme, extremes are difficult, they can also be magnificent. The more wildly the pendulum of your life swings, the more truthfully you can say, I've truly lived. Awesome. And this is a nice starseed activation. And you can say, I'm ready to, to experience, I'm sorry, I am ready to embrace the extremes of my life. I lay all that I am carrying onto the great mother, mother's altar, and fall completely into her arms, meaning mother earth that's that's really beautiful these cards always make me feel good i like that they're uplifting and we're not alone i think there are a lot of star seeds out there the synchronicities if you're into angel numbers like i've been into for years and i never knew why until maybe a few years ago and it, it's amazing how many people around the world, maybe thinking just like you. And that's a good thing. You know, it's it's really nice. Gives me hope. How about Daily Crystal Inspiration? Let's be inspired. Last time was fluoride. So let's give it Shuffle. Let's see. Whoa, almost. I just did my nails too, so I'm <laughs> trying to be careful. <gasps> Would you look at that? I went to, and it flipped out. I went to the sunstone, what my daughter gave me. Aw, that's awesome. Take pleasure in the things that you do. This one I'm gonna keep out too. And I'll, I'll pull another one. Oh wow, I'll show you. I actually have that stone. That's so cool. This is what it looks like. It's a little thumb stone. She bought it for me when they went away with their grandma and grandpa in New Hope, Pennsylvania. Awesome. 
That's so cool. I can't wait to tell her after. Nice. All right, let me shuffle one more time. Well, universe wanted me to see that, so that's a good side. Oh, let's see. I'll pull one more for the rest of us. Would you look at that? It's fluorite again. Okay. Find peace within. Yes. These two cards take pleasure in the things you do. So that goes together. That definitely is a beautiful message. I'll read uh, the Sunstone one first. Okay, ready? Excuse me. Itchy nose, the allergies when the weather gets like this. Don't just stop and smell the roses. Make yourself a bouquet. If you find yourself moving through your day on autopilot, force yourself to stop and take a moment to appreciate the beauty in your life. If you find you're always focused on what's next, allow yourself to appreciate the moment at hand. I've been trying to do that. Just live in the moment. Seize the day. You can even put up a reminder on your phone if needed. You only get one life allow yourself time to enjoy it do something that gives you a significant boost of energy and happiness something that fills your cup and fills your soul feed your soul take delight in everything you do because it's those little pleasures that make the life truly worth living enjoy the little things here's a great affirmation i have plenty of time Today, savor a small moment that you usually take for granted, such as a hot cup of coffee or exchanging smiles with a stranger. Beautiful. Well, I already had my cup of coffee. It was pretty good. And now I'm having my uh, cucumber water that I made. Mm -hmm. Which is really good. I made a cucumber water. I made a lemon water. Just filled it up, put it nice in my refrigerator. It's very refreshing. I like that. Now fluorite, I'm gonna read it again because we got this the last time. Peace is not something you find out there. It comes from within. There's no need to wait for the whirlwind of life to stand still. And you don't even need to reach internal stiffness to tap into it. Peace means that acceptance of your circumstances and the conviction of your beliefs. You can act and find solace when you are at peace with your decisions. By choosing peace, you can tune out external disturbances and embrace a calmer state of being. So you can go about your daily life and confront any challenge. Here's a nice affirmation. I live in a state of peace Whenever you see a mirror today, take a deep breath and repeat your affirmation. Bring this peaceful state of being to all of your activities. Cool. Nice. So is this one. Uh -huh. And and this one today. Nice. Great. Okay, how about, I haven't done an angel reading in a while, so let's do an angel message. One of my favorite decks, one of my first decks, actually. These are always very uplifting. Let's see. Here's a message for us. We want to stay positive, especially during these crazy, crazy times we're living in. We're getting through it. That's a good thing. I know we are. We're going to get stronger. Absolutely. Here we go. Nice. Okay. 
Heaven's Door. We're right there. This is in the past. And then we're learning. This is where we're at right now in the present. And this is us in the soon future. We're coming back into our own power. Awesome. Awesome. Nice. This is good. Okay. Here we go. Heaven's Door. If you've been anxiously waiting for a door to open with the promise of a new opportunity, the time is drawing near. Trust in the divine timing. The door will open at the perfect time, and you'll see exactly why it is worth the wait. In the meantime, hold on to your faith. The reward is imminent. I do believe that. Life unfolds for me exactly as it is meant to. I trust in the divine timing, and I am grateful for all of my blessings. I am. I really am. And I have to say, I'm not, and nobody's perfect. I'm not perfect, but we're all learning. And that's, that's exactly what this card is all about. You're learning. Don't be so hard on yourself. Life always brings you exactly what is needed for your soul's growth. Instead of resisting difficulties, try to see them from a higher perspective for what they really are. An opportunity for growth and learning. When you look with awareness at the wisdom and the gift from the obstacles and challenges you face, you progress you progress further along your path and can move on to new experiences. I choose to learn from my experiences and I will always take away a gift or little insight to further my understanding. Life always brings me what is best, best for my growth. I trust in life and welcome all experiences with wisdom. That's how you gotta look at it. That's how I've been looking at it. Now it's pouring out. Wow. Yeah. Power. Let's see. Ooh, you know what? I could pull one more card. It's present, future. Okay. Nice. And I got the last one coming at you. Nice. As challenges as life, wait, as challenging as life may seem to you right now, trust that you have the power and strength to get through the present obstacles and reach a new chapter of greater peace and harmony that awaits you just around the corner. Try to keep a positive outlook and not to be disheartened by recent events. You're about to tap into it enormous reservoir of power within you that will help you navigate through, through these tough times and come out stronger and wiser. Kind of lines up what I said before. That's awesome. I don't even need the cards. Look at that. The last one is inner peace. Nice. That's why you got to trust in here, guys. This is just tools that help us interpret it. I mean, they're not bad. I, I grew up Catholic, of course. I love Christ and I love the Blessed Mother and I love God, but I also have a different perspective on um, life right now. And it's aligning up with what I feel in my heart. It may not be in your heart, but not yet. I don't know. I mean, everyone is going through differently. That's that's why it's a, it's called like a spiritual awakening journey. It is very powerful. And we all go through it a little differently. But interestingly enough, we're not alone. <laughs> Never alone. 
inner peace. Trust that everything is exactly as it needs to be, even if appearances suggest that the chaos rules. Sometimes it could be a challenge to remain calm and centered in the middle of a conflict or stressful situations, but you are guided in these instances to look within. Focus on attaining balance and peace within, and you'll find this will greatly influence your external reality. In times of stress and or conflict, I focus on com- creating a space of calm and balance within. My inner world creates my reality. I ask that the universe for I ask the universe for help to guide me and enlighten me so that I may master my thoughts and emotions. I am peaceful. Beautiful. That was a really nice reading. I, I, I was look I really like that one. I hope you liked it too. Now my last one. I'll leave you with the star seeds cards. Yes. Okay. Here we go. Nice. Here we go. Wisdom. Set your adversities as opportunities. Uh, I'm sorry. See your adversities. Adversities as opportunities to expand your spiritual life. Wisdom. That's right. Nice. Beautiful. Well, I hope everybody has an awesome day. And let's see. Hopefully during the week, I'm going to get my um, homeschooling live on. We'll stream it. And I hope to hear from you guys. Looking forward to it. I hope you have a great day. See you back in a couple of days. Bye for now. Thanks for watching. And please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Thank you.